Hey G fans, Goji Fan 93 here, and welcome back to the October Kaiju Thon. Uh, in this video, we are going to be discussing the next part of the Daimajin trilogy, uh, Di Return of Daimajin. Now, this is probably going to be a short review because you know how I was really super excited after I saw the first one and I was going crazy and barely could talk and all that stuff? Well, I was super excited to get into the second one and, uh, uh. I I uh, a little bit disappointed actually in the, in the second one. Um, basically, it it pretty much is the same movie. Uh, we have a bad guy who takes over a village and makes them do slave work, <laughs> and we have our heroes who are trying to stop them and who believe in the Daimajin God, and we have them saying like, oh, don't take out the statue, don't, um, you know, you'll, if you do this, you're gonna suffer the consequences, and yeah, it's just, I mean, ugh, just not good. Um, so, and oh yeah, and then at the end, the bad guy gets killed, and Daimajin wins and goes away, you know, so, it, it really is the same setup. Like it, it's literally the exact same movie, only it's in a different setting with different characters. But that doesn't. I mean, just because we have different setting and different characters doesn't mean that it's completely different. Um, and the thing that I I get confused of is, like, don't the bat like, I was confused if this movie was like a direct sequel to this first one and obviously all these movies were made in the same year 1966 I believe uh, yeah 1966 is when these movies were made so I'm thinking like okay so you know did they rush it like were the sequels supposed to be connected to each other or are these like different instances kind of like The Legend of Zelda where each entry is kind of its own thing but I, st I still kind of looked at it because, like, there's in, in the second one, there are these refugees which try to go into this new village from this older village. Which I'm thinking, oh, okay, are those refugees those people from the first film because Daimajin came in and ruined their village, and so they are now refugees and need to go to another place? Um, that's what I was thinking. And then you have the bad guys, which they wear the same armor, and I think their the flag symbol they have is the exact same as well, and. I, I was I thought that they were the same bad guys, yet it seemed like they weren't because they had no clue of who Daimajin was. When the characters were telling them like, oh don't do this and if you do that you'll suffer, blah blah blah, they're just like, oh blah, god this, god that. They go and do the exact same thing by destroying the statue, uh, that's the, the Daimajin statue, although this time instead of in the first one what they did was they, they were trying to... Um, they put a stake through the, the forehead of the statue and hit it with a hammer. And, like, that scene was really tense. That's what I loved about the first one, is that there was suspense going on there, especially when, right when they hit the, the um, stake, the blood started to come down from the forehead, which was really cool. In this one, they just decided to blow it up, and they just they put a bunch of dynamite there, and they light it up, and it just it blows up. But it just it wasn't as, like, interesting, or it wasn't as, like, ooh, like, what's gonna happen? Ooh. Um, Ah, it's just, I was very disappointed in this one, and I'm kind of worried now about the third one because I read the description about the third one, and it sounds like the exact same plot again. So it's kind of making me think that maybe Daimajin should have just been one movie, because at the end of Daimajin 1, they tie up all the knots. It's not like there needs to be a sequel, so I don't know. I, I don't know. Now, am I saying that the movie's bad? It's not a bad movie, I'm not saying that whatsoever. It was still entertaining to watch, but I wasn't as invested in it as I was with the first one because I already saw this kind of plot. Um, so the characters, I they pretty much play the same role as they do in the first one. So honestly, if you want my uh, opinions on the characters, you can just watch my first Imogen review. And like I said, this review is not going to be that long because it's just... It's just the same movie, pretty much. There's really nothing I can I can say to it. They're really cool. I mean, once again, you know, we have Akira Fukube doing the the music, which was cool to hear, but that doesn't really help it. You know, also the fact that this was made in the same year, so the movie, the effects, like the special effects and the way the movie looks, is pretty much the same. So I don't know. We'll have to see with the third one. I really hope the third one will be a bit better, but. Uh, 
yeah, so that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry about this was a bit of a shorter video, but uh, like I said, I can't really say anything else about the movie. It's just kind of the same movie. Not bad. It's entertaining, but I kind of expected more. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay big, G-Fans.